Hey guys, Moi here again, and today I'm going to be showing you how and what layer masking, what layer masking is, and how to use it, and how it benefits your work. So, what we're going to be do using the layer mask for today is we're going to cut out an image. So, go ahead and find the image that you want to cut out. I'm going to go to pictures. I've been at it adding a lot of artwork to this pictures tab let's see <sighs> uh, I'll just use this one again just use it for a recent manipulation show you how to cut it out alright first of all uh, when you open your image it depends sometimes it starts here with the lock here and if it's that case for you you just want to right click on the layer and you'll see layer from background you just click that all right so usually most people will go straight to the eraser tool sorry about that I had to check on the dog all right as I was saying most people would usually go straight to the eraser tool and just start erasing like this and let's say I made a mistake there didn't realize it and in the middle of this I realized well I made a mistake there I want that to be clean so I have to back up that gets really annoying during projects so what the layer mask allows you to do is if you make a mistake you can simply paint over it with white and it brings the layer back so I'm going to show you all how to do that right now. So we're going to go down here and hit this little box that kind of looks like a camera. And that's going to add a layer mask to our layer here. <clears throat> and with the layer mask, we're not going to use an eraser. So go ahead and press B, pull up your brush tool, or you can go right here to the panel obviously and click brush I'm gonna go ahead and put the size up a bit actually what I'm gonna do here I'm gonna use my quick selection tool first and just select some things so as you can see the quick selection really works well for this image so I'm just gonna go down here get that selected and I'm gonna hit shift backspace and that's gonna bring up the fill option now as you can see right here in your layers panel the layer mask is white here now if your layer mask is white you want to paint black to begin erasing the background so as you can see in the con and uh, the use box here it says that's black so I'm gonna go ahead and press OK and as you can see the background just goes ahead and disappear now I'm gonna make my brush white as it already is if I wanna bring some of it back around the edges of them all I have to do is simply change the foreground color back to white and paint in that area and that simply brings some of the image back and if I wanted to I could do that for the entire thing like so now I'm going to change it back to black and I'm just going to show you that you can do the same thing with the brush here just paint away 
maybe use a soft brush further away from him and as you get in closer to his body use a harder brush but for this image I prefer using the quick selection tool but it's all personal preference so I'm just gonna go ahead and quick select all the way down here and you want to do this in short little steps because the quick selection tool is quite unpredictable sometimes you can edit it but it's not worth it so again shift backspace to bring up the fill the fill tab here and click OK deselect now I'm gonna go over here do the same thing and as you can see it kinda covered him there but that's really no problem because we're using <laughs> layer mask And as you can see, I'm not being that precise right now for the sake of the tutorial, and I can always go back and edit it. It's really no big deal. I'm going to go ahead and take my magic wand tool now, try to get some of this. And I'm going to go up to my quick selection panel up here, and I'm just going to bring the size down. Now that I'm working a little bit closer to them. And I'm being it pretty sloppy here. Just for the sake of the tutorial. And the actual time here it's taking me about maybe twenty minutes to cut them out. Somewhere in that area. And I'm gonna go ahead and pull up my hard brush, send the size to about twenty actually let's get rid of these pieces first so make sure the black is selected make sure your layer mask is selected here click on it to activate it and just start painting away these bad leftover pieces here Obviously, if yours came out a bit cleaner, you can go ahead and fast forward. And I'm just going to try to clean this up a bit. Don't forget the edges may appear a bit pixelated, especially if you if you're zoomed in. I'm almost at 300% here, so obviously it's going to appear pixelated on the edges a bit. So don't be too concerned about that just zoom out and see how it looks from a distance that's really what matters and don't forget the spot in between his legs right there and to get inside of here
like that. I'm just using the the back button since uh, that layer was just created. Well, that mask was just created. So there's no problem just using the backspace there. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and bring some of these spots back. So go ahead and change the color back to white for your foreground and click the layer mask make sure it's active and let's go ahead and start painting back some of his foot there and that's pretty good there we'll get rid of the edges there and paint back this back foot here like so and let's just check let's bring back some of his pants there that got erased and before we take away that foot there let's get rid of all of these little pieces so what I like to do is get about a one pixel brush and zoom in right before it becomes like a grid there, a pixel pixelated grid. And this allows us to really get rid of these these uh, bad areas basically. The small areas that are hard to get to. So as you can I zoom in by pressing Alt and using the little scroll thingy on the mouse and that allows you to zoom in if you hold control and do it it goes side to side so like I said just get here as you can see when I zoom in right here it becomes really pixelated and the image is a bit hard to see so I just I go one right before that where it allows me to see the image pretty well but at the same time I'm able to get these spots with a really small brush Let's get this foot here. Just do this really quick. Where are we at? Not just try to get this over with. I'm just gonna leave that like it is just to get this tutorial pretty much over with taking quite a bit of time and then we just want to get in here and erase the green spots because it wouldn't make sense if the area you have them in in your image isn't green so you just pretty much continue with that I'm not going to be precise here at all. I'm just going to get it done. And 
that's pretty much all it is to it nice little cut out there could be better but just trying to show you all the basics to using the layer mask tool uh, another quick thing depending on your image color you can add a background to it just to see if there's any edges left over and overall this was cut out pretty well nothing over in here or anything uh, alright thanks for watching guys uh, more tutorials and speed arts will be posted as frequently as possible see ya